Hey ladies and gents, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Apparently I used up the film on the video. I didn't mean to be a slow poke. But I'm gonna do the other side real quick of the um colossal Maybelline stuff. This is like the colossal sister, I guess. Cause it's the Chaotix. Chaotix, Chaotix. I was actually gonna try the manga. That was gonna be my next one to try. But, um, this one was buy one, get one, half off, right during Christmas, right before Christmas, and the other one was regular price, so for the same cost, I got two instead of one, basically, so I didn't get to try Manga yet, <laughs> but I got two of these instead of one, you know, so I'm just gonna do the other side, remember, when you're doing the lashes, you can do zigzag to make sure the product is getting on there good and you're not getting all of the cakiness or clumpies. You know, I'm just doing it the traditional way. Sometimes I like to do it thicker. I'm just doing it the traditional way today for you guys, but um, so I'm trying to make sure it's the same as the other side, of course. I don't want to do two different styles, it's got to be the same style. So yeah, just brush it out, brush it out. Now I know there are some, I think they still sell them, the uh, mascaras that have the two-stepper, that has that primer stuff. Seriously, you don't need that. I mean, if it works for you, then by all means, great. Honestly, it was a waste of time for me personally. Um, so if it works for you, that's great. That's awesome. But for me, it just seems like a waste of time and money, honestly, because I used it. I didn't see much of a difference at all as far as effectiveness and it's staying on any longer or any different than anything else I've used. And, you know, I want, I want more mascara anyway, more than the primer, you know, primer I can do myself because you can use anything as a primer. You don't have to spend 30 plus dollars on a primer. You can by all means that's awesome you can if you can afford it great but if you can't you know afford it right now a little tight at the moment because of the holidays you know getting presents for everybody you have leftover foundation use it as a primer ladies and gents use it as a primer and I didn't really show you how I apply primer when I'm doing eyeshadow makeup which I will show in another video when I do that another day I will include it. I'm gonna make this one look thicker now because this one looks a little thick. Um, but I do use a Q-tip. So you can use a Q-tip or your finger if that's what you prefer. Or you can actually, um, you can use um, like that, uh, here, let me show you. That brush, something like this, maybe smaller. You can use that too if that's what you prefer. I tend to end up using Q-tips because I apply it and then I just chuck it. So, you know, so I go through Q-tips um, a lot more than I used to back in the day, too. <laughs> it's great for makeup. So, yeah, so I tend to use Q-tips, but I'll, I'll, I'll show that more in depth in another video. I just wanted to finish this so you see the finished, um, preferably the finished product. I know I didn't really do um, eyeshadow, but that'll be for another day, another video. Um, so we can dedicate the time specifically for that. I think that should be a video in itself just because um, that's a multitude of steps in itself. So what I'll do for the eyeshadow video is I'll make sure I have everything else done and then we'll focus on the eyes essentially next time. So I'll probably do it that way um, for you guys. I'm just cleaning this up real quick. Sometimes you get mascara that fell down, you know, because it was touching your eye or whatever. That's okay. Clean it up with the Q-tip. Look, I got a little spot here. I'll show you the little spots over there. Q-tip. Q-tip. Oh yeah. You can use a little water. Q-tip, Q-tip, Q-tip. It helps. It helps. It does. You know, especially if you try to be precise like me. For a little anal about it, that's totally okay. You're not the only one. <laughs> okay, so there you go. This is the after look. Okay, my hair is still drying from the shower, but it looks better now. So there you go. I did my lips today. I did my eyes. 
You know, nothing crazy. Minimal today. Eyebrows. I got my eyebrows and my face. See, my 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 um my stuff. <laughs> I can't think of a name. Um, my concealer. You know, with with blush. I don't know if you can see the blush as much because I know the the lighting might affect it a little bit. Might not see it as much because of the lighting, but. Look, I look more flawless than I did when I first got out of the shower, right? Well, you'll probably see that in the other video if you wanna, if you wanna do a retake. Like, whoa, look at her before and look at after. See, big difference. Beauty and makeup, and I didn't do much craziness. I really didn't. At the end of the day, what did I do? My face complexion to look better. I threw on some lips. I threw on a little bit of eye stuff, and that's it. I didn't even do. I could do more. But I didn't. Not today. Another day. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. What you guys think? Um, if you guys have additional tips, extra tips, maybe about the cat eye. But look what I make up. I know there's so many different ways. I actually have a list of all the different styles. I'll see if I can include it if possible in here um, or below. I'll, I'll try if it'll let me um, to show all the different types of cat eyes and winged eyes and la di da. But if you still want to share your input in the comments or share this video, maybe this video um, is helpful for you or a fellow friend or girlfriend or someone get married that maybe is newer with makeup or just needs an extra tip. Maybe there was a tip in the video that was helpful, like a quick tip. Um, let me know. Let me know. Spread the word. Let me know. Um, Intuitive Mara. That's me right here. So if you need me for other services, feel free. IntuitiveMara.com. Google me. I always say Google me. Let me know what you think. And I'll leave it right there. I'll leave it at that. Feel free to comment below, okay? Bye, guys.